what's your coin, bros? My name <laughs> is PewDiePie, and welcome back to Chapter Lily, Chapter 1. It's been a while, my friends. It's been a while, oh, man. Oh, uh, you know, for the last time, we had to try to dig in into the lighthouse right now, and someone came out of the prison cell. It was like an emo boy whose name is Sai. And so we decided to escape this place this time, all right? So here we are again. Uh, sorry for the interruption right now. I think it's getting a bit quiet right now. And also, um, I'm a bit sick right now, so I just have to finish this game off right now. So I had no energy this time, all right? So whatever I do, let's do a simple gameplay of doing this right now. Trapped in here right now, we're trapped in the facility. Um, it can be moved right now. We gotta find that Fuse 35 thing right now. Look, I don't think it's like, it's really necessary for us right now. Look, got it all correct, but I want to know where it is. Order to dream current basement. Rotate all four valve handles. Oh shit. Are you kidding me? I don't think I couldn't really finish the game right now, but if there was an ending for that, well I would be wrong. Like you know, I would just finish the game if mean, it's the you know perfect timing. Of course, a diamond is just a rotated square. Yep. So, should I turn the wheel? Sheesh, it works. We need more of these. Guys, we gotta find more. Um, what is this? A small field of white lilies. Play it? Of course, if you don't mind if I do. This is so melancholic. Oh my goodness. I just love the music box right now. It's so peaceful. Oh, are we doing my idea? No, but it might work. We just have to pick up water from here and empty it somewhere. And just repeat that a couple of times. Or a lot of times, right? We just need like a bathtub or a sink or something, eventually the water level will be lower. This is ridiculous. Oh, it works. Finally. Now we can find the clues. Ah, I spotted shiny over there. But shiny? You know, a useful item. How do you know it will be useful? We need to push some boxes around to get it up. Oh yes, it's going to be a heckin' episode. Here, here, hold on. Easy peasy. Oh, we got it, we got it over here. Bathroom? Um, excuse me. Could you wait outside? What? Oh, of course. Uh, I guess I'll stay over there. Scream if you need me. I won't. Dude, is there something lurking behind that bathroom? Now I get to have some time away from that guy. Seems like to say half a moment. Hero would tell me to have a bit of faith in others, but... I wonder if I could ask you. Is it even possible to go from here? I still have no signal, but that didn't matter last time. I'll give it a try. Yes, the moment that we wait for... Lise! Oh, good. 
Thank goodness I can reach you, Hiro. Are you alright? What happened? Are you safe? Yes, I'm okay. Thought I did fall down the stairs and wake up in some sort of dungeon. And there's a strange guy following me everywhere. And who said there's no way out? Everything is okay, don't worry. Thank God. Is everything alright? Why are you whispering? Because there's someone right outside and... An enemy? No, well, he said he's not. And now he's following me around. You made a friend? No, I don't really trust him. But maybe it's better to have a company. He might be willing to tag along and help. But that's why it's strange. Why is he willing to tag along? You know how people act around me, Hiro? And he just acting like nothing is wrong with me. Hmm, you sound conflicted. Well, I don't really care, I just... He's just shady. Well, tell you what, it's your choice. You can have him tag along and see how it plays out. Or you can ditch him. Huh? It's not like you suggest something like that. Well, I personally think you should have a bit of faith in him. Which is up to you. Yeah, that's more like it. I should go. Be careful, Lace. Get back home safely. Yeah. Oh, man. Right. That took a million years. Were you talking to someone in there? No. Did he overhear anything? It kind of sounded like it. I wasn't. Oh. It's cool. I talk to myself sometimes, too. Like having a little narrator, right? climb over all of those moths for nothing? It wasn't for nothing. Exercise is good for you. Oh, uh, I can't believe it. Right, we should find something. Passage. All the pages. Oh, hell no. Right. How about this one? A faint object. Have all of these books been erased somehow? Someone didn't want to leave any traces. I agree. Damn, this is tough. I just can't escape. Right. Wait, what do we do here? Alright. Okay, very good. Very good. Very good. Oh, it doesn't seize me. It chases me. Like a coward, right? Alright, let's do this. Slowly. Oh, I'm glad the monster's not here. Right. What? Did I? Did I just. One eternity later. Oh, yes! You actually did it. Congratulations! This is nothing. This will until you hear my other ideas. I very much look forward to it. Will she be okay? She'll be fine. See? She's still breathing. 
Oh my god. You ready to go? Yeah. Alright. I don't know which caption is right now. But of course, a man's gotta do is to save the game first. And hell yeah. I am really looking forward to it. Find a cursed door. Rune said there should be a cursed door that leads outside. Somewhere deep in this facility. Oh my goodness. You're gonna get jumped here. There's my part of it's gonna be blood. You kidding me? Bro. Oh yeah, it is the same thing. Is that my way home? Who's this? A house? Why there's a house so deep on the ground? Oh, maybe someone lives here. But if there's an entrance to a house down here, maybe there's also an exit on the other side. Don't you think? Well, no way to go, but forward. <sighs> I am really in love with this game, but please don't let me go. Oh, man. I am literally crying right now, and I'm bursting into tears. See if I could see the last time right now. Um, hello? Are you there? Looks like a guest, but there's no signatures. Who lives here? Oh, that's so creepy. Hang on a second. Over here. Uh, where did you lead me to? What is this place? This place is strange. What tip you off? The hallway filled with creepy faces? No. No? I mean, yes, but... Don't you feel like this place is strangely cozy? It almost like it's decorated with care. Oh, great. Now it's cozy. What are you doing? We can probably relax here for a while. It feels... Oh shit. A bad G. It feels like a bad idea to relax in someone else's home. If we're quiet enough, they'll never know. So, aren't you tired? Yes. We deserve a break anyway. You're right. That this place has a creepy but cute vibe to it. What do you mean by that? The fireplace is... Is that how you way you describe it? Fire is nice. That's a weird thing to say. Are you into burning things? What? No. I just meant that it feels peaceful here. Yeah. I'm not very good at conversations. You're fine. So, what's got you doing deadly rituals? Huh? Well, normally people who come here either have nothing to lose in their life anymore, or they just plain dumb and reckless. Which one are you? Dumb, probably. Hmm. So, what's your deal? You don't have to tell me if you don't want it, but I'll just annoy you until you do. Or until you ditch me. Does it make sense to ditch you yet? Yeah. Alright. Alright? I suppose I can tell you, but it's going to get long. I have nothing better to do. How should I put this? There's something very wrong with me, but it sounds ridiculous when I say it out loud. I'm all ears. It's possible I may be possessed. No, I'm definitely either possessed or cursed. It's been like this since I was little. Back then, I used to think I have a black cloud that just follows me everywhere. It makes me people run away from me. It makes me them hate me. They always have this terrifying look when they look at me. Sometimes, it turns into hatred or anger. With animals, it's even worse. Dogs will bark at me, and I can't even get close enough to pet a cat. Or today, I tried buying something at the store and failed horribly. 
I hate that I can't even do something as simple as that. It's like just being a robot makes people tense and aggressive. But I know for a fact that it wasn't always like this. I have memories of my childhood where things were fine. Something must have changed at this at some point. And then everyone suddenly started acting differently with me. For a really long time, I thought it was my fault. I thought that maybe I'm just a broken and different. I thought I did something wrong. I thought people had a reason to hate me so much. I know better now, but that doesn't change how it feels. This thing inside me, whatever it is, it's isolating me from everyone. Even my parents hate me being around me. They leave the house for weeks at a time and make excuses why I ask to come along. My brother is the only one who's there for me every time. And I know how hard it is for him. Aw, oh, man. What a stubborn family you'd hugged, but it's sad to see that their parents go like that. <laughs> yeah. This reminds me of the anime that I usually watch at that time. It's uh, it's an anime called Kotora Sun. If you haven't watched it, uh, go ahead and feel free to like you know leave your thoughts down in the comments down below and let me know what you think. That is really super emotional to me. It's all about a girl who is being possessed with his fam with her family, and then uh, she was spreading like rumors around it. Or family right now you know what I should recommend you guys watching it but you know it has a lot of nudity scenes onto it but feel free to leave your thoughts about that because I can't give you like every single every single detail of that uh, let's just continue right now. but somehow he never falters without him I I've been trying to get better for so long so this ritual is well. It's my last hope. If I have to find answers, then I'll probably give up on everything. I can't bear to live like this anymore. Still, you should know about this. You've been around me, don't you feel it? Huh. Let me see. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, you're right. You've got this weird, ominous aura. Feels dangerous. Doesn't bother me. Really? Nah, I guess I felt worse. That doesn't make any sense. There must be something wrong with you. Is this person not human? Ha! Ah, says the possessed girl! Rune said possessions aren't things, so it might be a curse. But you don't buy it? So, what? You came here to get exercise. I've tried that already. I wouldn't have come here unless I exhausted my possibilities for him. Smart. No dice then? Nothing. That sucks. Have you tried throwing table salt at yourself? I hear it works off demons. You might get rid of your curse too. Very funny. You seem to know quite a lot about this place and the rituals. Oh yeah, I did a lot of these rituals to kill time. What? I'm surprised you're not dead yet. You know what they say, idiots don't die. I don't think anybody says that. <laughs> Maybe you could start saying it then. So, is your curse the reason you're trying to find the lighthouse? Yes, I was told there's someone there who can help guide me. Um, who's there? <laughs> Do you hear that? Yes. What the? Hey! Guest! But not invited? I'm confused. Uh oh. Fine! Fire! Make it stop! Uh, the smell? No, 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 not you again. Get out, 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 get out. They just trapped us. Like. No. 
Please. Oh, I'm really screwed up. Even I wake up from here, what can I even do? Let's see. A monster just put me in a cage and it'll probably eat me or something. It's a plant that I can see here. This place is useless. I just find the eggs and see what happens. Don't make me. Don't make me jump scare for nothing. Alright. Okay. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Oh, everyone's slapping at me. <laughs> there she is. That's her? He's so cursed that the bird dropped dead. If she can make a bird die, I wonder what she could do to people. What a freak. Hey, you killed that poor bird. N no. It flew into the window next to your seat. But I didn't. It died because of you. This is your fault. My goodness. This ain't starvation for nothing. What is this? You gave me a dead bird just for nothing? Damn, how selfish you are, guys. This isn't my fault. Can't believe you're still acting innocent. You disgust me. You cause nothing but ruin everywhere you go. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I don't do it on purpose. I didn't do anything. Maybe you should do something. Huh? To make it up to us. Why don't you take responsibility for messing up everything? How? Hmm. Make her eat it. Yeah, eat the bird. What? You heard him. Eat it, witch. If you eat it, maybe we'll forgive you. Eat the bird, murderer. Man, this is a sad story. This isn't real. Guys, do I have to do this? Okay, looks like I can. Now, take the knife. Yes. Do not. Alright, let's do this. Oh, this can take this time. Oh! Oh my goodness. You just ate a dead flesh on that. I feel sick. She actually did it. She's insane. She's just a freak. <laughs> it's all bloody now. <laughs> well, I did it. Oh wait, before I go, this is going to be useful. Please, get me back inside. Strong for friend from the wardrobe. Huh? What's that noise? Oh, man! I guess this wasn't a dream after all. I'm out of my cage. He's still trapped though. Oh, well, my items are gone. But now that door numb, I can't go back home. Good job getting out of that. I didn't get to see what you did, but you must be really good at passing through stole <laughs> passing through solid steel bars. Thanks. Looks like you're in the bind yourself. If he was a demon, he could just use his powers to escape, right? I mean, he just doesn't care. Listen, you probably shouldn't stay here. If that monster of lady heard the noise you made, you come to check. Don't be trouble, you know. <laughs> you're right. See you. Where are you going? I'm going to look around for a bit. And? I should try to find an exit too. And nothing else? Are you serious? Get me out of here. Uh, of course. Sure. I'll try. Alright. Alright, anyway, so I'm gonna leave this episode right now. But I don't think I could continue with it right now. I think two parts is just honestly, like, you know. I think I could finish it in no time right now. The final episode is gonna drop. I hope I could see the true 
So stick around and stay tuned for the final episode of Paper Lily Chapter 1. Of course, it is my honor just to play this game just for, you know, for the sake of boredom, of course. And the second thing that I really want to know is that the prologue of Project Cat, it has, you know, a lot of unnecessary vibes to it, but this one got me more hooked into it because the story is so emotional and I just really can't resist just to play it through. And thank you guys for your support. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode. Keep yourself safe, everyone. Bye-bye.